Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy EOU, aka the Harlem Legend, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm dropping a video or going live. Man, we got a great one. I'm here with my homie. What's up, man? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. Man. What's good? Yo, all the good, man. You talking to Kaviali. How y'all doing, people? How y'all doing, man? Another day at the office, man. You already know, man. Look, man, we got to break this down, man. So we got a dude from Brooklyn, Brownsville, Brooklyn, uh, Primo, right? Some know him as one of the most flossiest dudes out of New York City right now. I'm going to be real. One of the most flossiest dudes. They look at him as, you know what I'm saying, like an up-and-coming rapper. You know, everybody that <laughs> they pop up out of nowhere, they become rappers, right? Like, you know what I'm just saying? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. So I'm just being Definitely. Real. Definitely yeah. one of the top, top, top flosses. We keep him not taking nothing away from that, you heard? Yeah, man. I mean, but he puts everything online. He puts everything online, no matter what it is. If, if, whether he's meeting with Beanie Siegel, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Whether he's meeting with Beanie Siegel, whether he's out with, with, with Fabio Foreign, with all this jury on, man, whether he's talking to Floyd Mayweather, you feel me? Well, they saying this dude got robbed. Money team. Hey, yeah, they saying he got raw. Look, he puts everything online, everything, no matter what. They saying he got robbed for four hundred k worth of jewelry. You heard? That's what's going around New York City right now. He got robbed for four hundred k worth of jewelry. Let me play this. For That's what's quick. going on. That's the word. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me play this real quick, and then when we get back, man. We're gonna let hey, we're gonna we're gonna break it down, man. Look, this is him with uh with the TV baller, and you know another big, you know, with a, you heard with some of the biggest scammers in Allegedly. New York City. Allegedly, yeah. Look, 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 look. Let's let's just get this out here, man. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. What up? Now nah, the street, you. the streets, the streets want to know. So we just go, we just go fill them in and all that. Cause you know you a big motivator out here in the streets. You know you motivate the city uh -huh. and all that. So you know they just want to hear from the horse's mouth and all that. They want to make sure you good. Yo, you feel me? They want to, they want to talk to Mister Spin that shit. What they, what, what they thought? I was gonna disappear off the gram. I wasn't gonna pop my shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> niggas, niggas did what they were supposed to do. Niggas got lucky. That's it. At the end of the day, them niggas, yo, I'm going to call them niggas right there. Yo, shout out to them robbery boys. I'm going to call them niggas right there to the Fantastic Four because them niggas came out like SWAT. They knew what they was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? They knew what they was dealing with. They came out like SWAT. I got caught lacking. I can't, I can't, I can't say nothing else, TV. That's shit. The streets is hungry. I was behind. I hey, yo, gun. listen, let me I tell you something, bro. Gun. I know what time it is. That's let me ask you this question. Why they not going to see it? Mm. They took my least favorite watch. Why are they not going to see it? <laughs> they took my least favorite watch, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah, they got the Optimus Prime and all of that. But at the end of the day, my nigga, I'm still here. And when you still here, you still get to it. Like I tell niggas, spend that fucking money. If you think I'm going out like a simp and I'm not about to spend that fucking money again, that money getting that is a Fendi fact. That <clears throat> money is getting spent. I was getting older than I set up anyway. And that has nothing to do. See, which I seen to real to feel or realize this. That got nothing to do with niggas' bread. Niggas still got bread. You feel me? My son Preem still caked up. You feel me? It's still Mr. Oh, Spin no, that oh, shit. Oh, oh, I ain't gonna lie, TV. They made me mad. They made me mad. I I went on Instagram for some reason. My Instagram is not going on. So I still got the bread. You think I jack a million just because I'm just out here with jewelry on? No, that shit is really it. That shit is getting digged up from underneath the doghouse. Now this is why I, I, I act fucking ignorant. This is when that niggas want to see me in my bag. Now y'all going to see me in my fucking bag. Them niggas ain't take nothing that just can't be replaced. That's it. That's what it is, my nigga. Go back and get it again. At the end of the day, I'm a gambler. I take losses. All that shit was a bad dice loss. That's how I took the bad dice loss. You know what I'm saying? I'm still coming outside tonight to throw that fucking money, big AP on, grills in, whatever I got left. And that other shit, my birthday is December 28th. 
December 28th, yeah, New we Year, we loading up. Know, at the end of the day, I was once a robber, man. I know how this shit go. Them four niggas, that niggas came nah, correct. Nah, we ain't gonna do too much of that. No, nah, I'm gonna talk nah. about it. I'm gonna talk about it, TV. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get robbed, they go ghost, they don't go live, they delete pages and all that. Tomorrow, my page should be back public and this shit. Like today, today was damn family gate Thanksgiving. I'm still outside. I'm still public. happy I'm still Turkey still Day too. Happy Turkey Day. I'm gonna piss niggas off because that's niggas wanna see. That shit is getting buried up from underneath, underneath the dog house. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say. Stay tuned. That's sad, bro. Yo, he's still trying to flaunt. Like he's still trying to front. Ain't that kind of wild? He's still wild. Do you actually know this guy? Like, where you know him from? Oh yeah, I know him. I know him. Um, like I detailed in uh, in a video a couple of hours ago. You heard? We, you feel me? Like you know, around 20, 2011, uh, 2010, around them around them times. You know, like the scamming for the young dudes was starting to really take off. You know, it was dude scamming and all that. But like I said before in the 050 in the um, interview with you before too, um, I, yeah, it was a, dude, a set of dudes named Rich Mafia. And uh, after Primo CO, CO days, he, he wait, became wait, a wait, member wait, of the Rich wait, Mafia. He was a CO? Like, wait, he, I thought he was a court officer, right? This is like, like yeah, he, was a court I mean, he used to go to the island or go anywhere and pick guys up and bring them to court. Nah, it was Central Booking. He was working in Central Booking down, downtown Brooklyn. So, you know, and, and and I'm not trying to bash nobody, but he even admitted this himself. You heard, like he he was he, he was downtown uh, Central Booking CO. When you come in, he process your paperwork, get you upstairs to the court. He's a he's a court officer. And yeah. these are the dudes that they say and run Brooklyn. That's kind of wild mm. to me. I'm gonna be real. That's kind of wild to me. He was a so we condemned Rick Ross for being a CEO. What's the difference between being a CEO and actually? I gotta be real because I got some footage with him, right? With him actually yeah. saying what he used to do when inmates got out of line. Oh, you, you got it? it? Oh, yeah, I actually got footage of that. Uh, pay attention, y'all. Listen to this. Listen to what he says. He was a court officer, respectfully. But look what he did to the inmates. Pay attention. Of the rip, nigga. Niggas is trying to say you a cop. What's up with that? <laughs> Yo, bro, we, we gotta sell yeah, that shit like that. Space. We gotta sell. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> they, 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 they trying to say you. They trying to put that. Ass. Nah, they trying to put that on Primo. We know it's. We know what's up, but. I need you to just clear that real fast. Address that real quick. That's it. Where did the rumor come from? Fuck all of that. I was. I was never. I was never a cop. Okay. I was a court officer. Okay. Okay. I was a court officer. I was working in downtown Brooklyn, whatever. If you ever get locked up, you probably see me. I probably bring you to court, shit like that. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, with a couple of niggas, I was being dickheads. I probably sat them in there for three days. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> see them in the streets. They might want to fight and shit like that. But whoa, 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 whoa! Who says that? I gotta be real. If this the dude that's supposed to be running New York hip hop scene, yo, I'm telling you, hip hop is dead, bro. Hip hop is dead, but some people revere him as the top scammer. You heard it? You revere him as one of the top scammers, bro. But with Rich Mafia, yeah. what was the, what was they all about? What was Rich Mafia all about? Well, if the dude, the dude right there in the middle, that's that that like he he was like the the the, the, the leader of of it and all. The dude uh, to uh, Primo's right, he was like the uh, rapper. You know what I mean? And it was like a music crew, but they was also allegedly involved in other activities such as well, what you I just got said. the paperwork right here uh primo name is james hilliard right he's two, he was 22 years old at this time uh they was caught for scamming two hundred and fifty thousand dollars at one time two brooklyn men were arrested friday morning in westbury on charges using stolen credit cards to obtain money orders in the excess of two hundred fifty thousand dollars nassau county police said that Khaled edwards Khalid Edwards. So that's him right here with you in the picture. Yeah. So that's Khalid. That's the one right there with the braids on in the middle. Right yeah. next to uh, Primo with the black. Yeah, facts. Okay. Uh, it says here, what did he do though? Uh, several U.S. Postal Service money orders. 
Oh, so they was scamming. These dudes is basically scammers, bro. June 2011, James Hilliard, which is Primo, 22 years old, allegedly yeah. deposited other orders during that same period into his personal bank account. Combined police statement, uh, police estimate, the men stole roughly a quarter million dollars. So that's what they were saying. Damn. Damn, I thought that was 2012. That was 2011. Yeah, that's what they was into. Damn. Well, today, I got to be honest. The, uh, the, the robbers are putting the jury online, bro. You heard? They putting these dudes' jury. They they putting his jury. Look, look, look. They actually showing his jury. <laughs> you heard? They showing his jury. Pay attention, man. Look at this. Look what they doing. They showing hmm. his jury and telling him, come get your jury. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they showing his jury. They taking they, they 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 look, that's the robbers with his jury. That's sad, oh my right? god. They showing that jury and they posting and they it. They online. they posting this. This is up online right now. Mm, mm, mm. This is wow. I ain't gonna hold. Oh my god. god. So allegedly, this happened. You know, they said something involving Queens. I don't know if it took place in Queens or if it was Queens people. You know. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was. It was crazy. It dropped on Thanksgiving. The day after he was giving out turkeys. Yeah, he actually he just passed out turkeys. turkeys through the whole hood. That's wild, man. Yeah, he did. He, he gave out turkeys. Yeah, he gave out turkeys and everything, man. You remember this? Like this, just look. This is why these dudes, I don't know. Why would you want to be big time in New York City? And look, look what happens. People will rob you, do every anything to you, especially when you put everything online. Look at this dude, y'all. Like, he couldn't help himself. He's one of them dudes that put everything online. Everything. Look, it, it, it would never stop. He was going to be fooled for the plate anyways. I'm just being real. This dude was going to be fooled for the plate, y'all. Yeah, he gives out... Tur like, he takes care of his community, it seemed like. He took care of his people. But how many people out there really care? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, giving out turkeys and all that, man. Don't nobody care about that, man. This is the jury that got taken, y'all. This is the jury. This is as much money. Like, this is wow. This is wow. Look at this. With his name imprinted on it. You heard? Like, yeah, they wasn't playing. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, when them people come, they coming. They coming to take it all, man. And you know what's crazy? Look, look he had posted this TV online. says something. Yeah, getting it weighed up. Oh, he's yeah, TV. looking back like this. Yeah, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> this is what the robbers doing. Yeah, this is the thing. That's the thing, Harlem, because it's like, if you get money, 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 bro, you're not supposed to be accessible like that, bro. The Jack boys just sitting back. They couldn't wait. They couldn't wait, though. Oh, right, my God. That's nasty work, man. And then I came across another audio, right? I got to be honest. I came across another audio with Bo Mayo. You heard Bo Mayo. He seemed, you got to, if y'all didn't see my video with Bo Mayo, make sure y'all go see it. I put it up in the background right here. Make sure y'all go check it out. I got to be real. Bo Mayo basically shutting him down. Like, you could tell, like, Bomeo didn't want to be seen by this dude. If you go check out my video, Bomeo was a young dude from Brooklyn that had a lot of money that was really playing street games, and he just got indicted on another federal charge. Uh, he's actually in the streets for real. Primo, I got to be honest. Look at uh, Pay attention, Talk about it, all of Pay attention. <laughs> pay attention to how Bomeo face look, y'all, when he runs up on Bomeo and they had a movie shoot. Look what Bomeo says to him. Look what he calls him. Pay attention. Little peas and all that. Be here. Oh, who the fuck is that? 
Oh, they got okay. fucking boat. We got fucking boat outside. We outside. We got the motherfucking uh, the correctional officer uh, cream shop today. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. You got a dude that's really playing in the streets and he looking at this dude like, yo, that he really clowned him. I'm going to be honest. He really clowned the hell out of him, bro. Yeah, if you see body language, like, you know body yeah, language, bro. Yeah, body like, language show you, like, yo, he didn't want nothing to do with him. Yeah, it's like he didn't know that he was coming. So when he seen him, he couldn't even match the, the disgust or whatever it was that he was feeling. He couldn't mask it because it was just right there, like blatant. So some people, like yourself, you think that this is a stage uh, situation. Explain that to me. Yeah, so, you know, I'm a night owl, man. After the situation broke, and I'm like, damn, man, they called Day Day, they called Primo, man. But then I see the same dude that promotes his music and the same dude that promotes him, his stories, everything, you know what I mean? This is the dude that's posting the jewelry and the alleged robbers. So as a street nigga, as a nigga that used to rob niggas for hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of dollars, whatever it was. Yeah. As a nigga, you, I, if I'm a street nigga, I'm not going to give my shit to a content creator and tell him to... Tell that nigga to get his jewelry back. We gonna do it a different way. We ain't gonna well, do it I mean, like you don't that. Think that's just the streets hollering at him because that that's how it works. Everybody gets in touch with Cold Thirty Three, Cold TV Thirty Three. Yeah, Cold. One thing about Cold Thirty Three, right? He's a businessman. Cold Thirty Three is a businessman, but this is a legal business. Cold Thirty Three ain't stupid. Cold Thirty Three ain't. I I I could bet my last dollar. Code 33 ain't stupid. And to be talking to alleged robbers that's not caught yet, what is that, Harlem? Is that a yeah, conspiracy? That, that, don't Primo, that, don't, that don't mean Primo went to the police. If he's scared oh, to get jury, you think he went to the police? I don't know. We, this is what I think. I think that it's a either an insurance job or I think that he is going to come back later this week, later this month, later in a couple months, and he's going to come back with a million on his bigger, head. With bigger jury. Yeah, bigger and better jury, you think? Yeah. yeah so now the whole... Thing. Yeah, now the whole city going to be like, nah, he's the king. Y'all got to get it to him. Oh, shit. You got TV Bola hyping him up. You know? Yeah, I, see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, so it might now, be a scam all the way around the board. <laughs> he might just be scamming everybody all the way around the board. Right after the movie? Right after the movie? And then he says it on live. He says it's four dudes. He said they was talking to him. Listen, when I'm coming for that, 400,000, I know you got 400,000 on your neck. If you even talk a word, I'm going I'm to I'm blow one in your stomach or your leg to let you know I'm not playing with you. He's talking to them like they was friends. The way he talking, shout outs to the four, to the four SWAT team members. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It don't make sense, man. A lot of it just don't make sense to me either. You're right. You're right. You're definitely and right. He, when you were real, like, a lot of these dudes start coming outside pandemic niggas. A lot of these dudes start coming outside 2018. Listen, man, I've been a part of that shit since I was 11 years old, man. I know when it's serious. When a nigga take 400000 I don't give a fuck if you a billionaire. You're not losing 400000 laughing about it. You want to know, where, nigga, where's my mistake? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He could be bluffing anybody. He could be scamming us all again. You're just for the views and anybody to be chapping up. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, so if he comes back out and he drops a million or he goes live and he kept pack, he counts, he shows a million dollars, 500,000, whatever. Yeah, nigga. I don't know what y'all thought. I was real humble back then. Nigga, I was humble that day. Nah, nigga. Primo. I don't know. This is going to make him look mythic. He's going to be like Zeus. In the streets, mm. and this is a dude that I know. I get it. I get it. And this I is a dude it. that I know. He get to it. It ain't like this is not no slouch. We not talk. See, they don't. We gonna say court office and shit, right? But this is a dude. I'm telling you, man. Back in 2011 and all that, when niggas was running, this nigga was getting 250. 
two fifty back he then is like back then. He was scamming back then. Yeah. So you think about it, his name is in his paperwork. He definitely was scamming back then and, and access of two fifty. So imagine what they already got. You see what exactly. I'm saying? The money they already took back then. Quarter of a million exactly. dollars. They, they call it that scam. That's crazy. Yo, man. Quarter million this, dollars today is crazy. And quarter million about, dollars today, Harlem is probably like 400,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I believe, hey, I believe it because I see him with the rich mom. So if he come back and do it, well, yep, if he come back and do it, then then we know, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. You feel me? Because, like, and this is you right like, here. Like, like, it, it's crazy, right? man, but I respect it. I like to do it. This is you right here with Rich Mafia, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's Jay Rich. That's the rapper. That's the rapper. Shout out to Jay Rich. Okay. okay. That was at Meek Mill's birthday. That was at Meek Mill's birthday club in Nisha. We threw 40,000 that night. I threw 30 of it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bro, Yo, man, that's Luke, man. Great yeah, show, yeah, bro. Man. Luke, man. I appreciate you pulling up, my dude. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. My reality TV, man. Y'all know, y'all, y'all know. I, I, I break it first, man. Y'all know I got my word to the street right. still, man. If y'all want to get that good news, man, yo, tap it, Kai Reality, man. Yo, I appreciate you, G. You were ready. Salute. Salute. Oh man, yeah, man. Primo just out here. Ah, me personally. You're, I gotta be honest, right? Don't put it online. To me, I, 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 why put it online? Why get caught up? You heard with anything online? The more you put it online, the more people are watching you. I gotta be honest. The more you put it online, it, it does doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense at all. Every time you flow, I believe this really did happen to him. Some people think he's pulling another stunt. You heard? Top scammer, New York City, Primo. He's caught up in other indictments. Like, I got to be real, that has to do with scamming. You heard me personally? I don't trust none of these dudes. You heard? I don't trust none of these. Do they do anything for clicks and, and views? You heard? And why would the robbers post a jury? Does it make sense? They want them to buy it back? I got to be honest, like a lot of dudes talk that talk, but they don't walk that walk. And that's why they end up in these situations. You heard a lot of these guys are not tough guys. They're just not. He was a CO. You're in, in I mean, uh, if you want to call him a CO. Yeah, he was a court officer. He brought dudes. To you heard what he said that he did the dudes, right? We're not going to see him act like we didn't hear what he said. He did the dudes when they acted up. He oppressed you. Facts. He oppressed you when you acted up. You heard? When you wasn't on the same page he was on, he oppressed you. This is a nasty look, y'all, man. I got to be all the way honest with y'all, man. Um, Look, I don't recommend anybody getting hurt, anybody getting robbed. But at the end of the day, why put it all online? It doesn't make sense to me. You heard? Obviously, these dudes don't care. You heard they've been scamming out here. They, it is nothing. It's nothing. These dudes been doing this. So at the end of the day, they don't care. It is what it is. It's free money. It ain't their money. It's free money. It's your money. Yo, it's your boy E or you, aka the Harlem Legend, man. Leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about this one, man. Shout out to Kai Reality. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my guy, Kai Reality, man. He has changed his life around. He's a reformed. You heard he's definitely not into none of the, the extras anymore. He's just telling his story. You heard he's come in contact with a lot of these guys. Salute. Do you know who I'm talking about? Shut your ass up before I get to talk shit about you. You don't want me to expose you.